Aloha, we are Amanda and Felix Eats. A few days ago, we flew from our hometown of Honolulu, Hawaii to Seattle, Washington on a foodie adventure of the Pacific Northwest. <laughs> oh my God, it smells amazing. All right, cheers. cheers. Mm. Oh my gosh. I'm so excited for some fresh seafood. After spending a few days in Seattle eating a ton of delicious food, we are headed to Vancouver to visit Canada for the first time. We're in Canada. And for the next portion of our travel series, we are ready to take in the views and the food. We'll take you on some foodie adventures. We have so much planned for the next few days here in Vancouver and we can't wait to share it with you. What's going on foodie Ohana and welcome back to the channel. Today we are heading on over to Vancouver and we're leaving bright and early or in this case it's still dark but yeah it's been real Seattle we had an awesome time definitely coming back one day yeah we're heading on over now to the link rail to catch a train to the King Street station in order to take our Amtrak so stay tuned So we just boarded the Amtrak and we made it literally in the nick of time. They were mm -hmm. already boarding. Super, super lucky. We were running a little late. Um, so we didn't, we weren't able to get coffee or anything before we arrived. Thankfully, there's a cart on the train. So. Yeah, very convenient. And don't mind my hair and everything. <laughs> we were, I was wearing we were a running. beanie and I was running. So anyway, um, we got a, I got a ginger on a water too. Yeah. And a bagel. This is what we got. Just a bagel, a ginger ale, coffee, and water. Is there a cream cheese in here? Yeah, there it is. Yes. Very, very simple, very light. We're making room for later when we arrive because Vancouver, we're coming. So be ready. <laughs> I'm still sleepy. Yeah, we're still a little tired, but we will film some of the outdoor shots for you guys. We heard it's a very scenic route, so stay tuned for that. Yeah, very quick and efficient experience so far getting onto the Amtrak. The seats are not number. I mean, what is it? Uh, reserved. We're coach. Yeah, oh, we yeah. booked the coach class, so the seats weren't. We're not assigned seats. We can sit anywhere. We didn't know, but there were seats facing the other way. So the seats we chose is kind of backwards. I don't know if you can see. <laughs> so the train's going this way. If you walk, walk down a little bit more, the seats will be yeah, facing us correctly. Oh, and then that side has the, the scenery too. Okay, we're gonna enjoy our little mini breakfast here. We'll see you guys in a bit. Actually, one of the most comfortable sleeps I've ever had on any mode of transportation. But anyway, we just stopped and I think we're here. At least we're almost. 
We're in Canada. We have finally arrived, Furi Ohana. That was like a three hour train ride. It wasn't too bad. It was honestly. like four. Three to four hours, but we took the... Let, let me just say the transportation system, Seattle and Vancouver is pretty simple so far. I mean, once you get the hang of it, you can get around anywhere. But anyway, we're here now, right in front of our hotel. We're about to check in. Hopefully they can take us in early. We are a little early. That way we can at least get the day started. And of course, we're gonna show you guys the room we got. At the Paradox Hotel. Formerly, I believe this was the Trump Hotel before. Goodness, is this for real? Holy smokes! Oh, look, and we even have like a stuffed animal thingy. What is that? We're here for the bathroom. Oh, okay, okay. We'll show you guys the, the, the room tour. Okay, guys, this is my first impression. The layout is pretty open. We have super wide open windows, which could be bad, could be good. There's even like a little lounge area. <gasps> I see the bathtub. Oh yeah, this is the reason why I booked this particular hotel. Look at this bathtub. We are gonna be soaking in this tonight. Oh man. Yes. Lap of luxury for once. And for the record, I wanna say I was the one that found this one. Yes. And it was on sale. Before you guys make any comments about how we're being bougie, it was a Black Friday sale. I just happened to look, got this room for a little under $200 a night. Super Canadian super. though. Yes, Canadian. So even cheaper US. Super good deal. Now it's like 300 something. Double sinks, very nice. Got a shower. Oh, wow, this is so luxurious. This is probably the most, one of the most luxurious places we've stayed ever without your benefits. <laughs> wow. I just want to pass out when I'm so tired. This bed does look a little small though, or is it just me? I think it's the pillows. Oh, maybe. Also, there's actually three pillows. Nice. The other place only had two. And we have a guest. Who's this? I don't think this is free though. Is it not? It is. It's $40. $40? Oh my goodness. I thought it was like a gift like at the Conrad. Nope. Uh, I can literally see that guy sitting by his window. And also guys, look at this. It's like a touch screen for all the panels. You can do morning, evening. You can even make the room temperature. You can do all the lights. That's so cool. There's even a coffee and tea station right over here. Very lovely. Oh, and we got a refrigerator. What's in here? These are just like... Colors. Ooh, we got a full refrigerator. That's awesome. This. Oh, this is just a closet with a safe. This one too. Closet. We got some robes. We got some slippers. Very lovely. Guys, look at this. You can even heat the floor to keep your feet cozy. 
think that's what this is. There's a picture of a foot right here. Oh, let me get hotter. 85 degrees. Ooh. Mm, nice and toasty. So it has this iPad here. I wonder what you can do. I guess you can make reservations at the restaurants in here. The spa looks like a lounge nightclub. Are we going to the nightclub? No, no. Okay, so I guess it's not on the iPad. I thought the controls for the room was on the iPad like some other hotels because I noticed these are mechanical shades and blinds. But it's actually this switch right here. So let's just do the shades for a little bit of privacy. Ooh, oh, that was so quiet. I didn't even know it was working yet. Wow. I'm so used to just closing it by hand. This is our room, guys. Very simple, very cozy, very luxurious. Also, I have not had a coffee yet today. Yes, which is why she doesn't <laughs> seem enthusiastic, but trust me, um, we are. <laughs> and it's one o'clock, so we need to get going. Yes. We don't really know what the plan is, but in the next video, we will be showing you what we're doing here in Vancouver, and we'll take you on some foodie adventures. All right, Foodie Hana, that about wraps up today's episode of our room tour and our travels from Seattle to Vancouver. Come back to our next video that we're going to be posting because we are going to be showing you our very first day here in Vancouver. And we're going to be taking you guys around to eat a bunch of food because we are so hungry. <laughs> yes, and we heard Vancouver has a lot of great eats. So guys, stay tuned. Plenty more coming right up. We'll see you guys on the next video. All right, Foodie Hana, until tomorrow or the next video, we'll see you guys. Bye. Peace out. See you later. Is it right here, the water taxi? I believe so. The aqua bus, they call it here. Let's check it out. Oh, man, the camera's crooked. And I was gonna say something. I can literally see that guy sitting by his window. Where? Eating his dinner. Oh my gosh. Can you not use the camera? Okay. Anyway. What is this? Oh. Oh, no. That's not for us to see. Guess what we're about to do. Wow, chicka, Bro, wow, wow. What? I'm hungry. Ooh, we gotta build up an appetite though first. No, I'm hungry. Let's go. Uh, okay, I guess we're gonna go eat. All right, Furi Ohana, that about wraps up. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs>